Hi, uh, today I'm going to make maple pudding with spiced pecans. So I love to make pudding at home from scratch. You know, you can make it from the box, but it's really so darn easy to do at home. I don't know why you wouldn't get a lot better flavors that way. So the first thing we're going to do, I've got a couple of cups of milk in a saucepan here. and I'm just going to turn that on. I've already got that preheated, so it'll go a little quicker than you might think. And I'm going to take the, uh, a little bit more of the milk and whisk it into three tablespoons of cornstarch. So the reason you do that, and this is called making a slurry with the cornstarch, and the reason you do that is it gives you a chance to break up all the lumps before you mix it into the larger volume of liquid. Okay, so this milk is already at a simmer, and I'm going to whisk the slurry into it. And then we're going to add our maple syrup. I'm using a half cup. And I learned something interesting today. This syrup is grade A dark amber syrup. Now, I've always used grade B maple syrup because it has a little bit stronger flavor than most grade A. But Tim Marr from Chef Shop, who's also buying the camera today, he sells this beautiful grade A dark amber, which is a whole different deal because it has the, the flavor profile that you expect from the grade B, but it doesn't have the bitterness. So this is really some of the best stuff you can get. I'm going to whisk that right in. And then you always want to, even in uh, desserts, you always want at least a little pinch of salt in there. And what that salt does, it's not going to taste salty, but what that does is it brings out the sweetness and the complexities and the flavor, kind of wakes up your palate. So now we just want to get this up to a simmer. Whenever you're working with cornstarch, it's not going to thicken until the uh, liquid reaches a boil. All right, I think that this has reached a simmer. I can feel it starting to thicken up a little bit. So we'll turn it off, and we're going to pour it into these custard cups. You can also do it in a large bowl if you want, either way is fine. And it's nice to put, uh, especially if you're using the custard cups, it's nice to put them in a little tray like this because it makes it a bit easier to move them around, and if you get any spills it won't be so messy. Beautiful. And then these are going to go in the fridge. They'll probably take oh, an hour and a half, two hours to set up. And while they're cooling, we're going to make some spiced pecans. So we've got the maple pudding in the fridge. It's chilling. And we're going to make these spiced pecans that go on top of it. I've got uh, pecans and uh, sugar in the pot there. A little saute pan. Kind of get them on medium heat. The idea is we're going to try to get the sugar to melt and caramelize and the nuts to toast all at the same time. And then when that happens, We'll add some spices, some salt, some butter to it. And that's it. It's really easy. The sugar is starting to melt, which is good. Now is when we have to watch it because it can go from melted and starting to caramelize to burn pretty easily. So it's going to take probably four, five, six minutes uh, until the sugar is where you want it. And you want to manage the heat because you don't want to burn any of this, but you also want to get it to a nice dark color. Okay, so the nuts are about where we want them. We'll let them continue to cook just for another minute while we add the spices. I can actually turn that up just a fraction. So we're going to add some butter. Just a couple tablespoons. Or a couple teaspoons, I mean. And a pinch of salt. Maybe even a little generous pinch of this of salt on this, because uh, then we'll have a nice contrast of the salty nuts with the sweet uh, pudding. Some cinnamon. Some fresh grated nutmeg. And you know, if you guys have not grated nutmeg yourself at home, it is such a different experience from the pre-ground stuff. This is what a whole nutmeg looks like in a microplane. It makes short work of it. Turn that down a little. Looking good. And then the last thing we're going to add, and this might be a little surprising, is just a hint of smoked paprika. Which is maybe an unusual thing to put on a dessert, but for some reason in this dish it works. Like the smokiness from the paprika goes with the maple. It's almost like a walk in the winter woods or something. This smoked paprika I got from Chef Shop. It's one of my favorite ingredients. I mean, I use it in paella. I use it to, to dust on fried dishes. It's just good stuff. All right, so we're just gonna get the pecans off the heat, set them aside, and as soon as our maple pudding is set up, we're ready to serve the Pudding is set up, looks delicious, and we got the pecans. 
So simple to finish, we're just going to put a couple on top of each one. I made sure to make a few extra pecans because, you know, I'm going to want to snack on a few of those. So that's it. Maple pudding with spiced pecans. It's got that smoked paprika for a little surprising finish on the pecans. The recipe for this is in my cookbook, which is called Herbivoracious. Thanks for watching today.